Hello and welcome back to an another class on numerical analysis in which we are going to study the relation between different operators. Now this is the second part of the previous class where we have already studied the relation between shift operator, forward difference operator and backward difference operator. In today's class we are going to include our other two operators as well that is the central difference operator and the average operator. So let's get started with a central difference operator. We know that it is denoted by the symbol delta and is expressed as delta fx equals f x plus h by 2 minus f x minus h by 2. Now from this particular expression, we can derive some important relations between the operators like what is this value f x plus h by 2 in terms of e? Now we know that e f x is equal to f x plus h and we know that whatever is the power of e is going to be the coefficient of h here. So suppose if we take the value e 1 by 2 of f x this value is going to be equal to f x plus h upon 2 and in a similar pattern e raised to power minus 1 by 2 of f x this value is going to be equal to f x minus h upon 2. So we are going to use these two expressions in this expression of central difference operator. So what do we get here? This value is equal to e 1 by 2 of f x minus e minus 1 by 2 of f x. So here we get our first relation that is delta is equal to e 1 by 2 minus e minus 1 upon 2. Now this was the relation between delta and e. Similar to this we have another relation that is delta that is the forward difference operator upon 1 plus delta raised to power 1 by 2. So this is the relation between the central difference operator and the forward difference operator. Similar to this we have another relation in terms of backward difference operator and that is nabla upon 1 minus nabla raised to power 1 by 2 that is under root of 1 minus nabla. So this is the relation between central difference operator and the backward difference operator. Now let us prove the other two results here. Starting with this one, the relation between the central difference operator and the forward difference operator. Now we shall take the right hand side first and then convert this operator, forward difference operator in terms of shift operator. What is this value equal to? This is equal to delta is equal to E minus 1 and what comes in the denominator? It will be E 1 by 2. Now we are going to take this E 1 by 2 in the numerator. This will be E minus 1 by 2 into e minus 1. Next we are going to open up the brackets. This gives the value e1 by 2 minus e raised to power minus 1 upon 2. And what is this value equal to? This we have seen uh, just now that this value is equal to delta which is our central difference operator. So this is how you can prove this result. Moving on to our next result, the relation between the central difference operator and the backward difference operator. Here also we are going to start with the right hand side and we shall convert a backward difference operator in terms of shift operator. So how can we write this as? Nabla can be written as 1 minus E inverse and what comes in the denominator? 1 minus Nabla is equal to E raised power minus 1. Now this is whole raised power 1 upon 2. Opening up the brackets and taking the denominator value to the numerator value, this is equal to e raised to power 1 by 2 into 1 minus e inverse. Opening up the brackets, this value is equal to e raised to power 1 by 2 minus e raised to power minus 1 by 2. And this value again is equal to our central difference operator that is delta. Moving on to our next operator that is your average operator which is denoted by mu and fx. This is defined as average of 
the two values of the function f x plus h by 2 and f x minus h upon 2. Again, we are going to first find the relation between mu and the shift operator e. Now, by the definition of shift operator, this value f x plus h by 2, what is this equal to? This is equal to e 1 by 2 of f x and the next value is e minus 1 by 2 of f x. Alright, so this gives a first relation. What is it? Mu equals 1 upon 2 times e 1 by 2 plus e minus 1 by 2. 2. Now, similar relation we have defined for our central difference operator also. What was that? That was actually the difference of these two operators without 1 by 2 and here we have taken the average. So, it is 1 upon 2 times e 1 by 2 plus e power minus 1 by 2. Now, let us move on to our next relation that is between mu and the forward difference operator. This value is going to be equal to 1 plus delta upon 2 that is forward difference operator divided by 2 and under root of 1 plus delta. Alright and in terms of mu and the backward difference operator we have the relation 1 minus nabla upon 2 whole divided by under root of 1 minus nabla. Now, let us see how we are going to prove these relations. Starting with this relation between the average operator and the forward difference operator, we are going to start with the right hand side. Now, if suppose you do not know how you have to proceed further, what you have to do is just try to convert the given operator into shift operator form. Let us see how to do this. 1 plus delta can be written as e minus 1 upon 2 and what comes in the denominator? 1 plus delta is equal to e itself. So, this is going to be e raised power 1 by 2. In the numerator, we are going to take the LCM. So, this value becomes 2 plus e minus 1 by 2 upon e raised to power 1 by 2. This is equal to 2 minus 1 that is 1 upon 2 plus e upon 2 into e raised to power minus 1 upon 2. We have shifted this, this denominator value to the numerator. Now, what are we going to do is we are going to open up the brackets. Then this value becomes e raised to power minus 1 by 2 plus e raised to power plus 1 upon 2 upon 2. And what is this equal to? This is equal to the average operator mu. That simple. You don't have to do anything new here. Similarly, let us see our another relation between the average operator and the backward difference operator. We are going to start with the right hand side. Here also, we are going to convert our backward difference operator in terms of E. And what is the relation between nabla and shift operator? Nabla is equal to 1 minus E inverse. And what will come in the denominator? This value will be 1 minus nabla is equal to E inverse only whole raised power. 1 upon 2. This is going to be equal to, we are just going to simplify it further taking the LCM. This is going to be equal to 2 minus 1 plus e inverse upon 2 upon e raised to power minus 1 upon 2. Simplifying this, 2 minus 1 that is 1 by 2 plus e inverse upon 2. And taking the denominator value to the numerator, this is equal to e raised to power 1 upon 2. Next, what we are going to do is open up the brackets. This gives the value e raised to power 1 upon 2 upon 2 plus e raised to power minus 1 upon 2 upon 2. And this gives us the relation of the average operator because average operator is equal to e raised to power 1 by 2 plus e raised to power minus 1 by 2 whole divided by 2. So, this is how we can prove this result also. Now, apart from these relations, we have some more relations that is mu delta is equal to 1 upon 2 times of delta plus nabla that is the product of average operator and central difference operator is equal to the average of forward difference operator and backward difference 
operator. This is a very important re result. Now there is one more relation related to this that is the relation between the average operator and the central difference operator and what is this equal to? Mu is equal to 1 plus delta square upon 4 raised to the power 1 by 2. Now how to prove this result? It can be proved both ways. You can start from right hand side also and you can start from left hand side also. So if you are suppose starting with the left hand side, average operator into central difference operator, we are going to write both these operators in terms of the shift operator. So what is mu equal to? This is 1 by 2 into e raised power 1 by 2 plus e raised power minus 1 upon 2 into e raised power 1 by 2 minus e raised power minus 1 upon 2. This is the value for delta. Now this is this can be seen as a plus b into a minus b. So this value is going to be a square minus b square. So this is equal to 1 upon 2 into a which is e1 by 2 whole square minus e raised power minus 1 upon 2 that is b whole square. This in turn gives the value e raised to power 1 minus e raised to power minus 1. Now as we need a result in terms of forward difference operator and backward difference operator, so we are going to convert or shift operator in these two forms. So E can be written as 1 plus delta and E inverse can be written as 1 minus nabla. Opening up the brackets and simplifying this value, this is equal to delta plus nabla. Rest of the terms they get cancelled. So this proves our result. Moving on to our next result. Now this is a very important result that is the relation between the average operator and the central difference operator. Let us start with the right hand side over here. 1 plus delta square upon 4. Now first thing what we are going to do here is we shall convert it into the shift operator form. So what can delta be written as? It can be written as e raised to power 1 upon 2 minus e raised to power minus 1 upon 2 whole square upon 4 and that close 1 by 2. Squaring these terms this value is equal to 1 plus this is a minus b whole square that is a square and what is a square equal to e raised to power 1 upon 2 whole square minus 2 e raised to power 1 upon 2 into e raised to power minus 1 upon 2 plus e raised to power minus 1 upon 2 whole square upon 4 1 upon 2. Simplifying it further we get 1 plus this is e minus 2 plus e raised to power minus 1. Taking the LCM this value becomes 4 minus 2 that is plus 2 so we get here e plus 2 plus e inverse upon 4 under root that is 1 upon 2 and what is this value equal to e plus 2 plus e inverse this is actually the square of e raised to power 1 upon 2 plus e raised to power minus 1 upon 2 whole square 1 by 2 so simplifying it further this value becomes 1 upon 2 e raised to power 1 upon 2 plus e raised to power minus 1 upon 2 and this value is equal to mu which is the average operator. So it's very simple. There's nothing new that we are going to do here. The only thing that we have done is we have converted our central difference operator in terms of shift operator and just simplified the given equation. So before we finish let us just summarize what we have studied in this video. We have studied the relationship between different types of operators starting with the central difference operator. Moving on to our next operator was average operator that was denoted by mu and defined in this pattern. Apart from all these relations we have two more relations that are really very important that is the combination of all the four operators and the last one is your Average operator is equal to under root of 1 plus delta square upon 4. So this was all for today. Thank you for watching and see you in next class.